Hi doctor, I have this treatment plan ready for you to approve here. Um, I'm really glad that you incorporated the cone beam feature because um, it really shows a lot of the movements um, that we don't want to have um, in our treatment plan. So um, looking at the initial plan, um, first we have a lot of molar movement, which is really not necessary. And then even scarier, um, we have roots moving completely out of bone. So this is certainly not a plan that we would want to approve. Um, so I've eliminated the molar movement. Um, and then let's look at the premolars here. Um, so we have uh, rotation and root control. So this is an excellent demonstration of the type of movement that I try to eliminate the most um, on ClinJex, which is mesiodistal root torque. So take a look at the way that the root is angled from the distal. And then the um, the treat algorithm wants to make this perfect, and so it swings that root to the mesial. That's a very difficult movement to do in orthodontics, especially with aligners, and not very useful to the patient's chief concern and what's gonna be more beneficial for this patient's uh, occlusion overall. So um, we want to ask to eliminate all mesiodistal root movement, um, which I believe I did with the 3D control or uh, let's see, requested that at some point. Uh, here we go. This is one of my favorite things to write. Once I see it on the premolars, then I have to just go ahead and eliminate it from the canines as well. Um, so once that movement is eliminated, we can utilize the premolars in a better way, or the attachments on the premolars, I should say, by placing retention attachments. Retention is different than anchorage, but this is really is meant for the aligner to be well retained on the arch. When the aligner is fitting really well onto the arch, every other movement that we want to do, like rotation of the centrals, for example, is going to be more predictable. Um, also, I wanted to eliminate this uh, posterior IPR. Um, there is definitely some IPR that's going to be needed because of um, how uh, thin this, uh, this buckle plate is for upper and lower, but posterior IPR has a high risk of posterior open bite by allowing the molars to then uh, tip mesial instead of the anterior retraction that you're desiring. Um, so those are some of the biggest changes that I made um, because we could see that we we're going to have some bone issues. I have upper and lower IPR. Most cases we would do IPR in only one arch versus the other, but this is warranted. And I also have asked the IPR to be done at different times as you can see here, so that there is less round tripping and we can immediately make space so that these roots are not being pushed out of bone. Um, utilizing bite ramps um, as always to prevent the molars from passively intruding throughout treatment. Um, the My most favorite attachments, the optimized lateral support attachments, those keep a good anterior grip and that will help the central incisor rotation be more predictable um, and then we're over treating some of the more difficult rotations here so um, adding those extra aligners at the finish let me know if you have any other questions otherwise this uh, crowding case is ready to go